Here on Wham Bam Tesla Cam, we've shown you over 5,000 Tesla Cam videos sent in by our fans, and we serve up new ones every week. Today, we're showcasing some of the craziest clips we've ever featured, so buckle up for Wham Bam Tesla Cam's Worst Drivers of California, Volume 1. While Michael was driving to the airport in Sacramento, the driver of a silver BMW drove recklessly while trying to get around him to reach an exit. The BMW driver clipped the front of Michael's Tesla before crashing into a barrier. If we watch the video in slow motion, we can actually see that the BMW driver had his arm raised out of the window just before the crash. Was he flipping someone the bird or just waving at someone? Michael lost his headlight lens when the BMW made contact and traded some paint on the passenger side of the front bumper cover. The car is perfectly drivable, but the headlight will have to be replaced. Michael is still waiting to hear from his insurance provider, but he's been told that replacing the headlight and fixing the paint will cost around 2,000 US dollars. Michael uses his car for Uber, and he told us the car always starts conversations with riders. As Rusty crested a blind hill, he immediately noticed that traffic had backed up right behind it. Rusty gently applied his brakes to stop in time and give the drivers behind him time to stop as well. But this wasn't enough to prevent the reckless drivers of a VW and a Ford SUV from zooming over the hill. The VW driver was unable to stop in time and swerved off the road and into the woods, colliding with the tree. Reacting quickly, Rusty moved his car toward the center line to give them more space, narrowly avoiding contact with the VW. Despite the collision, the driver of the VW managed to continue driving, albeit with a visibly damaged passenger side wheel and suspension, burning rubber as they made their way to the next street to pull off. Prashanth was driving his Tesla Model 3 southbound on a California highway when traffic began slowing down. A Hyundai driver merged behind Prashanth since his lane was moving faster. Suddenly, traffic came to a complete stop which caught a Ford driver off guard. He dove into the express lane to avoid rear-ending the now-stopped Hyundai. Unfortunately, the Ford driver didn't notice a Honda approaching at high speed in the express lane. The Honda crashed into the front end of the Ford before getting pushed up onto the median barrier where it got some airtime. Thankfully, both drivers were okay. Prashanth called the California Highway Patrol and provided them with this video, but they said they didn't need it. Our guess is that it's pretty clear who was at fault since the Ford driver crossed double solid lines to get into the express lane. Prashanth wants to give a shout out to his fiance Sri, who watches all the Wham Bam channels, as well as his colleagues at work who asked him to share his video with us. Jen was driving home from work when a black Suburban moved to the right and made a U-turn right in front of her. Jen slammed on the brakes and barely missed the Suburban. The driver of the Suburban was smiling and looking back as they pulled away. Jen's quick reflexes prevented a collision. Nice save! Jacob was driving to school during the morning rush hour on I-15 in stop-and-go traffic. Suddenly, he heard and felt the car behind him rear-end his Tesla. Jacob stopped for a second, then pulled over, but the other driver took off. Thankfully, the license plate was captured on video, which he provided to the CHP and to his insurance provider. The registered owner of the vehicle lives in San Diego, and the police investigation is still ongoing. B was driving his Model 3 down a California highway when traffic in the exit lane suddenly came to a complete stop. A pickup truck wasn't able to stop in time and rear-ended a minivan. Interestingly, the pickup truck managed to pull off some sort of drift such that the rear end hit the minivan rather than the front end, reducing the impact significantly. B pulled over to give the minivan driver their footage of the crash for insurance purposes and learned that everyone involved was okay. Anuj was driving through a snowstorm along I-80 after a day of skiing when a white Tesla Model 3 spun out of control and hit the divider in the snow. Anuj stopped to check on the driver, who was okay but shaken up. Anuj sent along a shout out for his 10-year-old son Jay, a big Wham Bam fan. Here comes another video of one Tesla recording another crashing, which is unusual, since most of our Tesla wreck submissions are recordings from the Tesla involved in the collision. This time, our submitter wants to know who you think was at fault. A Mercedes driver signaled to make a left turn while a Model 3 was speeding up the parking lane. Obviously, the Mercedes driver didn't check their side view mirror before turning. They hit the Model 3, which then sped through the intersection and straight into a light pole. 
This occurred at around 7 p.m. and in this area, parking lanes can be used by rush hour traffic between 4 and 6 p.m. Who do you think was at fault? The Mercedes driver or the Tesla driver? Leave your opinion in the comments. Tanner was driving his Model 3 in Burbank, California, when he suddenly encountered a green Kia Soul in the middle of an intersection. Tanner thought the Kia driver was turning around, but then he realized she was blocking the road. Then she made a U-turn before swerving around the two lanes like a dumb driver, as Tanner puts it. She then cut off a Toyota 4Runner and floored the gas all the way to the next intersection. She then did more donuts, and then it looks like she took off, only to come back for more. While spinning in circles, she nearly hit a Toyota Prius C. She then blocked the road, refusing to let anyone pass. Tanner waited for an opening, then floored the accelerator to get past her. In his rearview mirror, he watched her continue to block the road and wave her hand while people honked at her. ABC7 reported that she was arrested by the California Highway Patrol after leading them on a pursuit. Actually, Tanner had only seen the beginning of the incident as the Kia driver was doing donuts in front of the Writers Guild of America strikers protesting outside of Warner Brothers Studios. ABC7 reported that police tried to pull the woman over, but she fled before making her way onto I-110, eventually leading police south to Los Angeles. Angeles. Officers then successfully deployed a spike strip. With her tires deflating, she was eventually pulled over near Century Boulevard. Officers approached the vehicle, shutting down the highway and stranding commuters while the CHP officers began a standoff with the woman. Eventually, they were able to pull her out of the vehicle. What a crazy story! Jamie was on her way to work one morning in Clovis, California when a Dodge Durango crossed into her lane. The Dodge barely missed the SUV in front of Jamie. Instead, it sideswiped her brand new Tesla Model 3 before slamming into the Volkswagen behind her, making this a three-car accident. Incredibly, nobody involved was harmed. Police were called to the scene where they facilitated the exchange of information between the involved drivers. Allegedly, the driver of the Durango had fallen asleep behind the wheel after a long night shift. The collision tore a wheel off the Tesla's rear axle, revealing extensive damage to the entire undercarriage, and we're guessing that's the rear motor. If you know what we're looking at, leave a comment. Insurance claims were filed at the scene of the accident, and within a few hours, Jamie's insurance provider contacted her to let her know her Tesla had been deemed a total loss. Jamie bought a used 2020 Model S Performance to replace her Model 3 so she could get behind the wheel of another Tesla right away, rather than wait months for delivery of a new one. Jonathan was sitting at a red light in Redondo Beach, California. Just as the light turned green, a black Ford Focus coming from the left ran their red light and hit two cars. One of the wrecked cars rolled toward Jonathan's lane and hit a Scion to his right, making this a four-car accident. It looks like the driver of the Tesla in front of Jonathan managed to escape being hit by reversing just in time. Jonathan provided his footage to responding police officers, and they immediately found the driver of the black Ford at fault. Everyone involved was okay, but Jonathan noticed the driver of the black Ford put his hands over his face after the crash as if he knew he'd done something wrong. Mark was on his way to work and canceled autopilot when he noticed a police car to his right. The police usually run radar from a highway overpass, so Mark drove past it normally before setting autopilot's speed to 85 miles per hour. What he failed to notice was that the police were right behind him. He'd been blissfully unaware of the police officer until he was right next to him. When the officer turned on his light, Mark quickly pulled over and slowed down to set his car to the right speed. He told us the rest of his drive to work was a lot more lawful. Eric was driving through a parking area in Yosemite National Park where the posted speed limit was 20 miles per hour. An impatient Lexus driver decided to pass him across double solid lines. Unfortunately for him, he hit the park ranger right on the spot and got pulled over immediately. Gotta love a little dose of instant justice.
Andrew was driving on a road where the right lane becomes a bus lane and other drivers must merge into the left lane. A Kia driver wanted to get in front of a Land Rover, but the Land Rover driver wasn't having it. They had a slow drag race before a BMW driver went to make a left turn but had to stop right in front of the Kia for pedestrians. The Kia driver didn't want to stop and swerved left to avoid T-boning the BMW, kissing the Land Rover instead. Both cars pulled over, but Andrew was in a hurry to get his kid to school, so he didn't have time to offer them his Tesla cam footage. This submitter was driving home from work with the windows down when he heard a loud crunching sound. When he looked back, he noticed an SUV had been T-boned by a truck at an intersection where the city is still working on installing traffic lights. Will was driving in the left lane when he noticed a car coming at him from behind going at least 100 miles per hour, so he moved over to let them pass. As they passed him, Will says it looked like they drifted into the shoulder before correcting and swerving in front of Will's Tesla, kicking a bunch of debris up onto his windshield and cracking it. Will isn't sure if they did this intentionally or if the driver was drunk, but they managed to keep their car in the lane following this incident. Actually, we've seen a meme making the rounds on TikTok and Facebook touting this pro-driver tip. You can cut off any Tesla and it will automatically hit the brakes and let you in. The comments on those threads are terrifying. Some people say they intentionally do this all the time, and others say they'll be trying it out. Please be careful out there. We discussed this on the Wham Bam Fam Discord server, and one of our members, Steven, pointed out that the sign in the picture and the sign in Will's video both say Dixon Landing. Steven even found both locations, and they're both taken from I-880, traveling in the same direction. What do you guys think? Could this be the same car from the meme? James had parked his Model Y in Irvine, California when someone temporarily vandalized his car by drawing something nasty on the hood. Another guy then walked by his car, saw the message on the hood, and we have no idea what it was, but evidently he felt like he needed to wipe it off. James thinks maybe the kids left a note to not subscribe to Wham Bam, which of course means you should. In the end, the masterpiece didn't leave any permanent marks on his carbon hood. Sam was driving his Model Y in Los Angeles, California. He was approaching an intersection when the driver of a large truck pulling two dump trailers tried to stop for the light that was turning red. The two trailers continued to move forward, hitting a black pickup truck immediately to the right. Thankfully, the pickup managed to escape from being crushed, so nobody was hurt in the incident, other than the truck driver's ego, that is. While he was driving down I-5 in California, he fell asleep behind the wheel and crashed into a semi-truck hauling a trailer stacked with wood. Emilio told us he called Turo's support on the phone after sending us these images, and they told him the Tesla is a total loss. How do we fix this? I guess all we can do is tell our viewers to stop renting Emilio's Tesla. Adam and his son were driving down a residential street in Napa, California when the driver of a pickup truck ran a stop sign and T-boned the driver's door of their Tesla Model 3. The impact was so powerful, it pushed the Tesla into two utility poles on the right side, one of which couldn't withstand the impact. The left repeater camera stopped working at the moment of impact and doesn't show much, but we also have the footage from the left pillar camera and it shows everything. This is the first time we've ever shown video from a pillar camera on our channel, and that's because it isn't a normal part of the Tesla cam feature. Along with the wide forward camera, the pillar cameras are normally only used for autopilot and safety features. But in the event of an accident, and if you've enabled the right settings, your Tesla will save the footage from those cameras too. In the state of California, and nowhere else as far as we know, Tesla will provide you with these recordings if you request them, which Adam did. Since all the doors were damaged, Adam and his son could only get out by climbing through one of the windows. While doing so, the driver who'd run the stop sign claimed that Adam took him out. Adam said the guy didn't ask if they were okay or even try to help them at all. Bystanders even told the guy to calm down because he wouldn't stop yelling. Police and firefighters responded and Adam and his son were checked for injuries. Incredibly, they were perfectly fine. 
The other driver kept insisting that he'd stopped, but the police took Adam's side after seeing the video. Adam's wife works for the city. When he called her, she was too stressed to drive to the accident scene herself, so the city manager gave her a ride. Little did she know, the city manager was the former chief of police. When he arrived, the cops and firefighters started joking around, uh-oh, the boss is here. This brought a little levity to the whole situation, and as Adam puts it, he got a little instant cred with the first responders. Adam wants to thank Tesla Insurance for sorting everything out in a timely manner. The Tesla was deemed a total loss, and two weeks later, Adam has already taken delivery of a new Model 3. Dan was on his way to work when, out of nowhere, an SUV driver decided he didn't want to wait in traffic anymore. He proceeded to make a U-turn right into another car that was coming down the middle lane. After making sure both drivers were okay, Dan shared his Tesla cam footage with both of them. Then he thought to himself, yes! After three years, I can finally submit something to Wham Bam! Dan told us he watches our new video every Sunday while on the elliptical at the gym. Does that mean you're at the gym now, Dan? Push harder, man. Let's go. Come on, you can do this. Ivan dropped off his daughter at school and was returning home. When he was almost home, a little boy ran out from behind cars into the middle of the road before running back. Ivan hit the brakes and the Tesla stopped instantly. The speed limit on this road is 15 miles per hour. Thankfully, Ivan had been obeying the speed limit, but he told us that many drivers speed down this road. Ivan doesn't want to think about what might have happened if someone else had been driving down this road at the time. Ashish was driving north at around 50 miles per hour on a wet interstate in San Jose, California when his Model Y hydroplaned and crashed into the median barrier. The car was towed away and declared a total loss by Tesla Insurance. Police responded to the scene to control traffic. Ashish told us he's an avid viewer of our channel but never thought he'd be making a submission. He wanted a shout out for his wife Anusha. Brian was driving home from school one night when a rogue tire came rolling across two lanes of traffic and directly onto the front of his Model 3. Brian said he'd only just noticed some small debris in the middle of the road right before the tire came into view, so he had no time to take evasive action. Brian told us he's a fairly new subscriber and he got a Tesla after seeing how safe they are thanks to our videos. Did you hear that, Tesla? We're helping you sell cars. Please invite us to the Cybertruck delivery event. We promise we won't crash anything. I mean, we might crash the party if we don't get invited. Adrian lost control of his Model 3 when he took a turn too fast in Rialto, California. The car hit the curb of a highway entrance, causing a wheel to become loose. Despite this, he drove the car back home and filed an insurance claim. The repair cost came to over 11,000 US dollars and repairs will take two months to complete. Adrian told us he's 19 and this is his first car. He's been watching our videos for over a year and was looking forward to sending us his own submission, but he didn't think it would be something like this. This Model 3 owner got a notification on his phone that his alarm was going off. Watch what he found when he watched the sentry mode footage. A white Mercedes pulled up and a guy jumped out, broke the back window, and lowered the back seat to look in the trunk. Luckily, our submitter didn't have anything in the trunk, so the criminal took off, leaving him with a repair bill to fix the broken window. Our submitter contacted the police, but they said there wasn't anything they could do. Watch what happened while Harrison was driving his Tesla. He was going through an intersection when a Ford Flex driver ran a red light. Harrison had no chance to stop before T-boning the Ford on the driver's side. Thankfully, everyone involved was okay. From the moment they were out of their vehicles, the Ford driver denied he had run a red light. But Harrison told him, hey man, I got it all on video. They watched this footage together inside Harrison's Tesla before the Ford driver finally agreed that he had run a red light. Responding police officers were impressed by the footage, but they were not impressed with the Ford driver's lack of a driver's license. Harrison's Tesla was deemed a total loss. He'd purchased it for 68,000 US dollars in 2021 with the FSD option, and the same configuration now costs around 71,000 US dollars. Even though the other driver is totally at fault, Harrison is still working with the insurance adjusters to settle on a replacement value for his vehicle. Harrison says the insurance company is using Kelly Blue Book to determine the value of the vehicle, but that evaluation doesn't accurately factor in the value of the FSD option even though it's a $15,000 add-on. 
John and Jill were heading home from Disneyland in Anaheim, California, when they witnessed a Mercedes CLA rear-end another car at high speed. The driver of the Mercedes then took off, making it a hit and run. John and Jill decided to use their Model X's 670 horsepower to chase him down. The Mercedes eventually broke down and John and Jill directed the California Highway Patrol to their location. They told us the driver turned out to be drunk. John and Jill wanted to send a shout out to Sarah and Frank for their beautiful Disneyland wedding. Gio was driving along when the Fiat next to him hydroplaned, sliding from the carpool lane to the other side of the highway unscathed. Gio kept driving as there was no place to safely stop and everything seemed okay. Jake was driving in Burbank. When he stopped at a red light, he heard the sound of multiple Mercedes revving their engines while the driver next to him put his car into launch mode. Jake was tempted to put them in their place, but then his girlfriend noticed a cop across the street. Jake was about to put down his window and warn the guy, but the light turned green before he had the chance. As expected, the cop flipped a U-turn in front of him and served the AMG driver some instant justice. Justin's night of Tesla cam taping didn't end there. While he was heading back home from dinner that same night, a pedestrian decided to walk into traffic and block his lane. Justin doesn't know why they stepped into heavy traffic, but he told us they were glued to their phone the entire time. He honked and flashed his high beams in an attempt to get their attention, but they just stood there, staring and talking to their phone. He flashed his high beams again, but after drivers behind him started honking, he decided to try and squeeze by him. Anthony was driving home after work during a heavy storm when he suddenly found himself in deep water. He had no idea the road ahead was flooded. We can see the water pretty well in the clip, but he told us that in person, it was difficult to see. The water got as deep as 10 feet, so he really avoided a dangerous situation. He used a different road to get home, and that one flooded just 45 minutes later. Muhammad told us he was driving about 80 miles per hour when he tried to merge into the middle lane to pass a car in front of him. His Tesla began to hydroplane when he drove through some standing water. His Tesla fishtailed and spun 180 degrees before he effectively backed into a semi-truck in the right lane while still going about 80 miles per hour. Neither Muhammad nor the semi-truck driver were harmed in the collision. We're guessing the trucker barely felt the impact, but he still pulled over and stopped. The California Highway Patrol responded to the scene and wrote a report which Muhammad was able to include in his insurance claim. His Model 3 was deemed a total loss by his insurance provider after the repair quote came to $33,000 US dollars, so they wrote him a check for the value of a new car. Nick was stopped next to a Camaro at a red light in El Dorado Hills, California. When the light turned green, they both took off in what Nick calls a friendly spirited race. At least it was for Nick. The Camaro driver lost the race and became furious, and to Nick's surprise, he turned into a stalking road rager. Nick thinks he couldn't handle being beaten by an EV. The Camaro driver used the turn lane in an attempt to pass Nick, and when he finally did, he brake checked Nick before driving painfully slowly. At the next intersection, the road opened up into multiple lanes, so Nick moved into the middle lane, then abruptly to the turn lane to escape the Camaro. It seemed like his strategy had worked. Then a few seconds later, the Camaro came back and stopped right next to Nick's Tesla. Nick turned around and the Camaro driver sped off, crossing the double yellow line and illegally passing several cars. The individual proceeded to follow Nick, then parked one block over at a shop owned by one of Nick's friends. Nick adds that racing is never safe, but that other driver turned a calculated open lane 0 to 60 race into a very dangerous incident. Don't be like this guy. This submitter was driving his Model Y on his way to pick up groceries when a red car pulled out from a gas station and sideswiped a Subaru Impreza. The red car proceeded to hit a pickup truck, which almost crashed into our submitter. When he was heading back from the store, he saw firefighters had arrived at the scene. Dinah was driving home from her gym in Anaheim Hills, California, when another driver ran a red light and crashed into the car in front of her. 
Dinah immediately shared her footage with the responding officer and collected the email addresses of both involved drivers. Later that night, she sent the footage to them both for their insurance claims. Both drivers were thankful for the video and informed her that nobody had been seriously injured. This submitter was driving his Model 3 in San Gabriel, California. While he was stopped at a red light, a Chevy Malibu started creeping up on him and getting uncomfortably close. The submitter inched forward, but the Chevy driver pulled up even closer. When the light turned green, the Chevy driver started driving recklessly in an attempt to get ahead of the submitter. Once he had the opportunity, he cut the submitter off and brake checked him. The submitter wasn't having it, so he hit the juice pedal and zoomed around the Chevy driver who struggled to keep up. Eventually, the Chevy driver backed off. Richard was driving his Model 3 in the passing lane on State Route 91 in California when another Tesla suddenly swerved through the lane barrier. A Subaru driver had no chance to stop and rear-ended the Tesla. It looks like the Tesla driver may have been braking, but truthfully, we have no idea what's going on here. Leave a comment with your theory. Goldman received two warnings on his phone, the first telling him that sentry mode has triggered the alarm state, followed by another telling him the car alarm has been triggered. A thief smashed the back window and folded down the back seat, but Goldman hadn't left anything there, so the thief calmly walked away. Goldman filed an insurance claim and a report with the Oakland Police Department. Repairing the window cost him a thousand US dollars. Goldman sent along this message. Please be careful when you park in San Francisco and the East Bay Area. David was on his way to San Francisco on US Route 101. He knew he'd need to take the I-280 exit soon, so he merged into the exit lane. Suddenly, he noticed a car in his left side view mirror coming up extremely quickly. He assumed the driver wanted to weave through traffic, but the gap between him and the Infiniti SUV on his left was about to close. David heard them break hard while swerving to the right to avoid a collision. He was convinced there was no way they could slow down fast enough, clearly committed to cutting between him and the other vehicle. David felt like contacting the police would be useless because the license plate could be fake. He'd rather just show the world how not to weave through traffic and how to be a defensive driver. Gregorin was driving home from getting some late night Vietnamese coffee, and while merging onto the highway, he encountered a ghost truck. Gregorin was using autopilot and it brought the car to a safe stop rather than hitting the truck. He then took control and drove around it. Gregorin got out and looked in the truck but didn't see anybody. I don't know about you, but I'm getting goosebumps. Gregorin called 911 before leaving the Ghostbusters scene. I mean, the accident. Klaus was driving on a highway in Los Angeles when a vehicle cut off a couple of bikers, nearly hitting one of them. The second biker got really angry and broke off the car's side view mirror. It was Steve's second time driving his brand new Tesla Model Y when he saw a bouncing tire jump the highway divider and crash into the car beside him. Luckily, the tire only hit the front bumper. Even so, Steve stopped and made sure everybody was okay. Romeo Zahn was driving his Model 3 on a Los Angeles highway when the car in front of him suddenly caught on fire. If we watch that in slow motion, the fire looks like it comes out of nowhere with no sparks or visible gas leaks. Leave a comment if you think you know what could have caused this. Feel the heat when Bam is here. Look at that, the car's on. Hey, nice Model X plaid, but that's not what this story is about. Gian was headed home in heavy rain after picking up his son from school. As they approached an intersection, Gian had no idea they were about to experience a close call he'll never forget. After crossing the intersection, an Audi merged into their lane just ahead of them. They continued driving behind the Audi, unaware of a surprise waiting up ahead. Suddenly, a large tree fell on the right side of the road, landing right on the Audi's roof, right where Gian would have been driving if he'd still been behind the Model X and the Audi hadn't merged between them. Gian told us he's grateful the Audi was there, even though it probably wasn't a fun experience for the Audi driver.
Justin sent us our first two-in-one submission, meaning that we have two stories in one clip. Okay, here's the first one. Justin was pulling into his neighborhood while using the full self-driving beta when he encountered a BMW sitting in the middle of the road and not moving. FSD beta tried to maneuver around the stopped BMW, but Justin took over before it could. He manually followed the white car thinking it was about to pull to the side of the road. Suddenly, it pulled an unexpected U-turn right in front of him, forcing him to hit the brakes. Justin continued driving to his house just a few hundred feet away where his dad was taking a walk with Justin's dog, Taco. Taco ran into the street when he saw Justin's car approaching. Justin's dad ran in front of Taco to try to stop him from going into traffic, and that's when Justin's dad slipped. Justin's girlfriend, Victoria, who was in the car at the time, couldn't help but crack up when she realized his dad had slipped in slippers. Nailed it! Okay, not only was this a two-in-one submission, it was also captured from another angle by a ring camera. Did you fell? Or you just slipped and fell? Mind blown. We're glad to report that his dad was fine after the fall. Justin says he'll forever be known as the man who slipped in slippers caught on Tesla cam and ring camera. Richard was sitting at a traffic light in Southgate, California when all of a sudden another Tesla Model Y crashed into the center divider. The Tesla ripped down a sign which smacked into the Nissan Rogue in front of Richard. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I think that Nissan went rogue. Get it? Get it? Yeah, you get it. While Drogon was stopped at a traffic light waiting to make a left turn, a distracted driver skated the median. Fortunately, he recovered in time. How many style points is that trick worth? We have one more phone video to show you. It's from Victoria, who was sitting in her parked Model Y with her daughter when they felt two impacts a few seconds apart. She looked at the Tesla cam recording right away and saw that a Toyota 4Runner had rear-ended her twice. When Victoria confronted the other driver, he immediately became aggressive. She called the police and an officer soon arrived at the scene. At first, the other driver tried to convince the officer that Victoria had caused the accident. When the officer viewed the Tesla cam video, he had no more questions about who was at fault. John was eating at a restaurant when he got a phone notification informing him that sentry mode had been activated. John ran out and found his windows had been smashed and his backpack had been stolen. He also found this video. Thankfully, nothing of value had been in the car, but based on our experience with similar stories from other submitters, replacing the windows will cost at least a thousand US dollars. Unlike most other stories though, the burglars in this one actually got caught. The same thing happened to three other cars in the same parking lot. Since John had the criminal's license plate number on video, the police were able to identify them. Thankfully, the thief wasn't using a stolen car or stolen plates. Brandon was with some friends at his house when they heard a loud bang outside. When they went to see what had happened, they found two wrecked cars. The driver of the small crossover had crossed double yellow lines when traffic wasn't clear and had hit a young driver, causing his van to go up on two wheels. Thankfully, everyone was okay, but the driver who'd crossed the double yellow lines claimed they'd been going straight, which the video proves isn't true. Brandon gave a copy of the video to all parties involved as well as to the police. Mitch was driving on Highway 85 in San Jose when he had to avoid a car stopped in the middle of the highway. If you're wondering why the driver had stopped, a mother duck and her ducklings were waddling across the highway. Obviously, stopping on the highway is dangerous, but on the other hand, nobody wants to run over a family of ducks. Let us know in a comment what you think people should do in this situation. Dane was driving in Los Angeles when a Scion driver squeezed between him and another Model 3. Now that was a close one. I wonder if the Scion driver even knew how many cameras were watching. Dane sent us another clip from the same day. Did you see that? Let's watch it one more time. Someone was walking between lanes down the middle of the highway in the middle of the night. We hope he got out of the road safely. Mike was driving his Model 3 in Hesperia, California. A BMW had been tailgating him for several blocks when he suddenly heard it revving up behind him. It flew past him and blew through a stop sign in a residential neighborhood, nearly sideswiping his Tesla. Mike decided this maneuver was so reckless that he had to send this video to the police, but he doesn't know if they plan to do anything. Jeff was late for work and decided to take his usual shortcut. While he was waiting to turn left, a Fiat across from him stopped. Jeff assumed this was done for no reason. Boy, was he wrong. He hit the brakes, and it's a good thing he did. 
Blinded by the sun, he hadn't noticed a father and son walking against a don't walk sign. That was a close one. Andrew was driving his Model Y in San Francisco when a modified BMW had been driving recklessly around him for a while. After waiting at a red light, something happened involving the BMW and an Amazon delivery truck. It looked like it was the truck driver's fault, but the BMW driver just took off. Andrew thinks they might have had something they didn't want the cops to see. Lots of thefts and burglaries in San Francisco are committed by criminals driving nice cars, and Andrew just thinks it was strange. Andrew circled around and offered the Amazon driver his Tesla cam footage, but the Amazon truck had its own dash cam system rolling. David was driving his Model 3 Performance in Antelope, California when he found himself next to a new electric BMW. Both drivers looked at each other before giving each other the race nod. David told us he was impressed with the BMW keeping up with him at first, and he was surprised by its acceleration. Vince is 13 years old, and his mom owns a 2019 Tesla Model X. He sent us this video from when his mom had parked to make a quick purchase from Target. When she returned, she noticed a scratch across both driver's side doors. After noticing it, she called Vince and told him what had happened. Thankfully, he's a huge Tesla fanboy and had already set up Sentry Mode for her. They were able to find the man who caused the damage, and it turned out to be a guy pushing a shopping cart containing some kind of armor or motorcycle gear. Is that a Fox logo? After finding out who was responsible and what exactly had happened, Vince told us they chose not to contact the police or make an insurance claim. Instead, they purchased a repair kit to fix the scratch themselves. We definitely think they should notify the police, as doing so may help solve other vandalism cases, and maybe even stop this from happening to someone else. This submitter's wife was in their Tesla parked in a grocery store parking lot when a lady with a young kid in her front passenger seat drove an SUV into a set of parked cars behind the Tesla. The people inside the grocery store indicated that the driver had just been inside the store with the kid. They said she appeared to be very intoxicated and the kid had been doing all of the shopping. The CHP came and took a report and the couple provided the footage from their Tesla as evidence. We can see his wife quickly get out of the car when the accident happened to try and get a picture of the SUV, but she was unsuccessful. Emilio's mother was on her way to work in their family's Model X when, all of a sudden, a man rear-ended her, then fled the scene after she'd pulled over to the shoulder. She immediately called Emilio and his dad to tell them what had happened, and they told her to call 911 and that they were on their way. When they arrived, Emilio immediately checked the camera footage and realized that the other car had been so badly damaged it couldn't get too far even if the driver wanted to, because the radiator had been completely destroyed. His car had had to be overheating, meaning he had to be making frequent stops. Emilio and his dad headed toward LA, searching for the car. About three hours after the accident, Emilio's dad found the car and called 911 before deciding to approach it. He approached the driver and offered him assistance in getting to wherever he needed to go since his car seemed to be in bad shape. He continued to play the part of the Good Samaritan until the police arrived. Emilio was on his way while on the phone with the 911 operator, explaining to them that his father was with the suspect. The operator told him not to follow the suspect because he could be dangerous and it would be their own fault if they were harmed. Emilio told the operator that was a risk they were willing to take. Finally, the police arrived and arrested the suspect. He had over a pound of marijuana in his car, no driver's license, and no insurance. Emilio had to file a claim with their own insurance provider. Fixing the car took over six months, and the car still needs some adjustments. Now, he rents the Tesla out on Turo. Emilio asked us to plug his Turo account and help his car rental business. This is the first time you can actually rent a piece of Wham Bam memorabilia. Go check it out and live the Wham Bam experience. Justin was heading to his girlfriend's house to have dinner with her family. He was stopped in a line of traffic that went in front of the exit of a Walmart parking lot. Justin says he tried to leave space so other drivers leaving the lot could squeeze through. A couple of cars made it through the gap, but unfortunately, a second red car didn't emerge unscathed. 
As the driver tried to squeeze through the gap on his left, they were struck by a pickup truck after the light turned green. Justin honked his horn in an attempt to warn the pickup driver, but it was too late. Justin threw on his hazard lights and offered the driver of the red car a copy of his footage. Alex was driving southbound on US Route 101 in California when the free-flowing traffic came to a sudden stop. Luckily, Autopilot was able to react in time to avoid a frontal collision. Unfortunately, the pickup truck behind him rammed into his Tesla. This caused another sedan to crash into the pickup, making this a three-car accident. Alex filed an insurance claim with the pickup driver's insurance provider and is currently waiting to hear back. Alex was the only driver involved who has a dash cam, and the other drivers were impressed with how it was able to record the accident from so many angles. Alex says this was everyone's first time being in an accident, so they were all quite shaken up. Despite everything, Alex finds it comforting to know he has solid evidence of what happened. He didn't have to stress about someone lying or leaving the scene of the accident and instead focused on safely getting off the highway. Get yourself a dash cam or a Tesla. Randy was driving in Oceanside, California when he spotted this chopped up Model S that's been turned into a pickup truck. He says the skull on the hood gives it that pimp my ride vibe. Mala was six months pregnant and heading home at 4.30 a.m. after dropping her husband off at the airport. She was waiting at a traffic light less than a mile from her house when her Tesla Model 3 was suddenly rear-ended. Both Mala and her baby were fine. Police and paramedics responded quickly to the scene. Mala was able to show her Tesla cam footage to the responding police officer, demonstrating how the Honda had drifted into her lane, hit the back end of her Tesla at full speed, then flipped over before landing right side up. Mala remembered passing the same Honda when she'd taken the highway exit a couple of minutes prior to the collision when the Honda had stopped right in the middle of the exit. When the Honda sped up and began following her, Mala noticed it swerving in and out of lanes and she assumed the driver was under the influence. At the time of the collision, the driver behind her was also in a Tesla and that driver told the police that he'd been following her and also thought she was under the influence. Mala said that when the other driver got out of her vehicle and tried to approach her, Mala definitely thought she was under the influence of something. Her excuse was that she had fallen asleep behind the wheel. Sadly, the police officer took her word for it and not only didn't take Mala's statement, he didn't seem to conduct any investigation at all. The Honda driver walked herself to an ambulance and left the scene. Mala tried to find out why her statement, as well as those of other key witnesses, weren't taken and why no real investigation was conducted. The only answer she got was from another officer, who told her that since there were no fatalities, their policy is to only conduct a DUI investigation if they smell alcohol. Mala's Tesla Model 3 was totaled and she hadn't even owned it for a full year. I think it's safe to say she'll be buying a new one after this one saved her life and the life of her unborn baby. Hey. Snow Speeder was cruising through Seal Beach on I-405 doing his best to be a safe and courteous driver. Evidently, the driver of a Ram truck didn't appreciate it when Snow Speeder changed lanes in front of him and he immediately retaliated. Snow Speeder told us he's a longtime fan of Wham Bam Tesla Cam and that he and his kids love watching our full length episodes, but he's not a fan of our short videos. I don't get it. What's not to like about our fun vertical videos? While submitter Tesla Creek was driving northbound on a normally busy street, the right lane was blocked by a truck that had broken down and a front end loader was trying to pull it out of the way. The driver in front of him needed to turn left, but there was no left turn lane. It seems like both drivers behind the Tesla were distracted by the broken down truck and they didn't notice the car turning and the Tesla stopping. The driver of the white truck slammed on his brakes before the truck behind him rear-ended him while trying to swerve around him. Debris flew everywhere, including some bits of plastic that landed on the Tesla's trunk lid. Thankfully, there was no damage, and he decided not to pull over since it looked like a police officer was already at the scene. This submitter was on his way to work. As he passed Holloman Air Force Base, he witnessed F-16 pilots returning from a training mission. Our submitter's timing was perfect for capturing the planes on their final approach. Micah was driving with autopilot engaged and the speed set to 75 miles per hour. There was a car gradually passing him on his left while a large work truck was on his right. That's when, surprise surprise, a Honda pulled up and tailgated the car on his left before darting between it and Micah's Tesla. 
Micah told us autopilot sounded an alarm but didn't otherwise react. So he took over and swerved to the right to avoid a collision, almost bumping into the truck next to him. Micah reported the reckless driver to the police, but he never saw them show up or had his call returned. Steve was on his way home from some pre-holiday grocery shopping in his Model Y and was only two blocks from home. When he stopped for a stop sign, the minivan behind him didn't. Steve included this photo and asked us to play Guess the Repair Bill. Fixing his Tesla will require a new rear hatch, upper and lower bumper, wiring harness, sensors, paint, and framework. This submitter was driving his Model Y in Los Angeles, California. He was behind a Lexus at a red light, and when they turned, he overtook the Lexus driver who had to slow down for an SUV. This didn't sit well with the Lexus driver, and they sped up and began following our submitter. When they approached the next red light, the Lexus driver pulled up next to him. The Lexus driver rolled down his window before screaming and spitting on the side of the Tesla. It kinda looks like most of that spit ended up inside the Lexus. I guess there is some justice in the world. Patrick was exiting the highway on his way home when some dude in a go-kart looking thing suddenly ran the red light in the bike lane and drove through the intersection. It's a me, Mario. Jeff was leaving a local ice cream shop one night when he discovered this unusual vehicle sitting in the parking lot. Jeff didn't notice the unique illuminated logo on the front bumper until he'd passed in front of it. He checked Google image search but couldn't find any sign of the logo. Does anyone recognize the vehicle or its logo? Jeff says it sure looks like an EV but he can't be sure. Post your ideas below. Danny was using a free charging station at Bayfair Center while he and his wife were inside shopping. Suddenly, he got an alert that his Tesla had been unplugged, then another saying it had been plugged in and was charging. Danny told his wife he thought someone had tried to unplug his car. Sure enough, another EV owner had pulled up next to him and tried to unplug his car. Danny told us because he's a smart wham bam Tesla cam viewer, he'd purchased an adapter lock so the other guy wasn't able to unplug him. You can find the link to that adapter in the video description. SJ Kid was driving home from class on Highway 84. The driver of the box truck in front of him changed his mind about where he was going at the last second and sideswiped SJ Kid's Model 3. SJ Kid told us the driver was unlicensed and had no proof of insurance. SJ Kid didn't contact the police because he didn't want to make the situation any more complicated than it needed to be. Instead, he spoke with the company manager and she emailed him a copy of her insurance coverage so he thought everything would be fine. Now SJ Kid says the company is denying responsibility and he had to make a claim with his own insurance provider. The total cost of repairs is over 21,000 US dollars. Patrick was driving during a huge storm and the highways of California were pretty flooded. He watched two cars drive by and completely splash water over nearby cars. Patrick told us it was definitely cool to watch and he thinks autopilot is a great feature to have in these situations. Opa was driving home on I-110 in Los Angeles, California when out of nowhere, some guy went running across the interstate. Opa was going the speed limit of 65 miles per hour and he thinks if he'd been going any faster than that, he would have hit the guy. Axel was driving in San Diego when another driver decided to make a sudden lane change and almost hit a barrier and another car. Please don't do stuff like this. Taking the next exit might cost you a few minutes, but diving for an exit may cost you or someone else a life. Herman was heading to work in Santa Ana, California when he noticed a Mercedes behind him that was having difficulty maintaining a safe distance. He feared being rear-ended. When traffic came to a stop, the Mercedes didn't. Thankfully, Herman had been expecting this and had braced himself for impact. The other driver took full responsibility and Herman filed a claim through his insurance. It took two weeks to get his car back and the entire trunk had to be replaced. Herman told us the sound of the grill falling apart reminded him of the sound of breaking Lego bricks in the Lego video games. Mike was leaving a parking lot and traveling at around 10 miles per hour when a Mazda driver turning into a gas station collided with the side of his Tesla Model 3. During the impact, the glass on the driver's door shattered, sending shards of glass throughout the cabin and hitting both Mike and his girlfriend. Damn it! No!
Although they weren't seriously injured, both Mike and his girlfriend experienced hearing issues after the crash, and Mike's girlfriend suffered neck pains for several months. The driver of the Mazda was underage and underinsured. The police were called, and they arrived quickly at the scene of the accident. Since the Mazda driver's insurance only covered $10,000 US dollars, Mike's insurance ended up covering the rest of the totaled car's value of $60,000 US dollars. Mike found it ironic that a Mazda crashed into a Tesla with a vanity plate that reads, What's gas? while turning into a gas station. Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon man! Please support the show!